Now to a story you'll see only on News for Jax. As families around the world make plans for Mother's Day this Sunday, the family of Jolene Cummings will experience yet another one without her. The Nassau County mom disappeared Mother's Day weekend four years ago. Her body's never been found. But her former co-worker is now serving a life sentence in prison for her murder. In his first ever television interview, Jolene Cummings' husband opened up to News 4 Jacks reporter Ashley Harding. Me and the, the family, we, uh, this is where we come visit her. It's not the typical place you go to grieve a loved one, but it's all Jason Cummings has. Does it hurt knowing that to have that moment with her, you have to come see a bench? All the time. Um, Especially for the kids, you know, they don't have a grave site to go visit. This is the only thing they have to remind them of their mama. A lot's changed in the years since Jolene Cummings disappeared. Her husband, Jason, never imagined raising his two boys without her. What kind of mom was she? She was a good mom. That's, that's, I think that's got a lot to do with why I love, fell in love with her. That's because she was a good mom. These photos, shared publicly for the first time, reflect a happy family. A doting mother first, Jolene was also a talented hairdresser, a path that led her to the Tangles Hair Salon. Now separated and going through a divorce, Jason is still mystified by that Mother's Day weekend when she failed to pick up the children. Jason says he'd never heard anything about Jolene's mysterious co-worker. What prompted the attack that day, still unclear. I don't know, jo Jolene seen something that wasn't right about her, and I guess it scared her. Jason says his boys, now six and eight, still don't know all the details of what happened to their mom. As they get older, he knows that day is coming. I hope they understand what I did, you know, keeping it from them while they were young. But I also hope that they don't have any hard feelings towards me when they do find out the hard, you know. It's, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's just a weird situation, you know. If given the chance to say one thing to the person responsible, if you could look her in the eye like you're looking me right now, what would you say to her? But the first thing I would ask her is, where is she at? I mean, she's called, it's over with. Let us have peace. With Mother's Day approaching, Jason reflects on happy memories. Tell me about Goozer. Um, that was from her friend, Brooke. I think her friend Brooke used to call her that. And the mother, he says, had a heart of gold. A lot of things I wish I could take back, but I mean, she, she opened my eyes in a lot of ways. Yeah. How so? She told me how to be a better dad. Do you talk to your kids about their mom? I still think they ask questions about her. Um, they know that she's in heaven being looked after. Um, they, they think that's her guardian angel. What would you say to her if you could say one more thing to Jolene? What would it be? Huh. I don't think y'all have enough film in that camera. To, we miss her and love her every day. We reached out to the Florida Department of Corrections for an update on Kimberly Kessler since she went to prison. In contrast to her behavior while she was in the Nassau County Jail, we are told so far she's had no disciplinary reports. And Jason Cummings says he still has hope. One day his wife's remains will be found and she'll finally be laid to rest.